Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, where in our previous episode of A Deal with Demons, our adventurers were making their way towards a lake that apparently has a sea monster in it that is killing lots of innocent people. Uh, on their way there, they met up with a merchant named Mr. Mither, uh, whose, whose shop is Mr. Mither's Mythical Mystics, and they bought a few magic items from him. Then they continued on their way after that and had a phone, a long, a long distance phone call with King Ulysses, the king of the branches, just to like touch base on how everything's going. Had a few chats with the Zerthos and between themselves, and they're now just uh, pretty close to the lake they're wanting to go to, like maybe a lot, little less than half day's march. And they were, they just finished camping out for the night. Better not get that bill. <laughs> <laughs> you started it off with a shit joke. <laughs> it was pretty good. <laughs> uh, so, is everyone good to depart, or do you guys want to do anything while, before you go? Uh, it's now morning. I'm very excited to get to this lake today. So. I'm going to uh, find a straight branch and cut off. I'm going to try and whittle myself. Sweet. Okay. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, uh, I'll just have you roll a few... Uh, let's see, I guess... I guess survival checks. Cool. I'll just have you roll three of them. 25, 22, and an 18. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so you're actually able to make a pretty damn nice flute. <laughs> you have, like, woodcarver tools over there? <laughs> Zach goes to attack someone. I have... <laughs> Fails. It goes to build a flute. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of daggers. <laughs> <laughs> that works. I guess so, yeah. Amazing. Um, there's something I want to do, I guess. I'm just going to be ready to take off. Uh, no, I, yeah, I'm ready to get to this lake. I want to fight this sea monster, bro. Um, What's a juicy, juicy combat? If, wanna, uh, I will casually go sit in your legs again if, if uh, Blaze goes to grab the cart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's important or not. Just... Are you driving again, Blaze? Yeah, it went well last time, right? right? Yeah, so just roll another handling check. <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> yeah. God. The horse is actually see who's <laughs> yeah, so I can't take the roll from the... last week. Like, what the... <laughs> all of you guys got in the back of the cart, and then Blaze goes up on the horse to or carriage, I guess, to get it to like get the horses to start running. The moment he does. One horse goes to the left, the other goes like forward and to the right, and it's just, it, it like tips over the wagon. So, can mm. everyone just roll a dexterity saving throw? Can I have an advantage? You have advantage. Hell yes. yes. <laughs> oh no! Uh, 11. Dex save? Yeah. Well, 21. Uh, 16. Yeah, so, uh, the three of you, so Lazarus, Ryan, and, uh, Ilrenal. Yes. You all are able to like jump out of the cart before it like tips over and everything falls out. And let's see if circles just the same. Nope. <laughs> Eleven didn't save? No. Nope. Uh oh. That's what you need you need to be the eleven. No. Uh, ah. I got a twelve. Yeah. <laughs> now you were just barely able to escape in time. And so the cart tips over, one of the horses comes unleashed from it. And you're thrown, like, right in front of one of the horses. <laughs> I think we roll that bad. <laughs> uh, Zerthos just is caught in the wagon, and it's, like, on top of him, and he's, ro he's rolling from one side to the other. He hits himself a, he hits himself a few times. <laughs> and... Yeah. Uh, well, that's a hard the, move, man. <laughs> one of the horses is starting to run away. The other is just trying to keep running with a wagon attached to it. <laughs> oh my god, Gage. What? It really oh, went to uh, shit. <laughs> I have 40 foot running speed, oh, walking speed, so I'm going to dash to catch the okay. horse. I'll attempt to call the horses. I can't. Yes, or at least man. the one that's uh, on the one running away. Okay. I just caught it, though. I'll attempt to call the one that's still attached. No, it, it's oh, staff it as well. Oh, so. fucking stupid horse. <laughs> call the one attached to the carriage. Okay, uh, roll on the other hand. How's Zeph? Zeph Rose. 
Uh, he's unconscious. Got yes. knocked out. Um, I'm gonna... 16. You're able to calm the horse and the wagon slowly slows down and stops. You're getting command on the other horse. Yeah. Okay, uh... Wisdom save. PC 15. What's this horse save? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it did, didn't it? I, I just have to see what their wisdom is, because maybe not. I'm pretty sure it's, like, low. <laughs> you're old and 18. Oh my god. You need a minus four with him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, you only need minus three, because as long as it's 15 or less, then he fails. Oh, Defender wins. Yeah, Defender wins. Oh. I was going to say, I don't know, 11. <laughs> but just, it's not the same. I can't yeah. Wait, it's going to on the fucking horse. <laughs> That's the way she goes, you know? some horseshit, man, because, like... <laughs> 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 I didn't even mean to. Hey, okay, wh why the hell isn't there a horse in this? Yo, it is called a riding horse. Oh, riding horse, okay. Yo, who is that? Wisdom? Wisdom. He no. got an 18. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I can catch him, uh, though, because uh, I have my feline agility, so I can double movement speed during a turn. A so I can run a total of 160 feet. You have a good point. Yeah. What, what happened? You're not a feline. You're a rocket. Oh, you stupid <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> Why you shut the fuck <laughs> up? Sorry. Right? I How about you um, just shut your mouth? Right. I'm going to... I'm going to tend to his Can I okay. try and call out to the worst to call it? You know its name. Sir. Sure. Uh, Stop! Stop! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Don't run! <laughs> that seems to be running faster. <laughs> okay, can I send love <laughs> Uh, he knows Lovecraft! He knows Lovecraft! What does like, Wolf gonna do? He's gonna he's gonna just like try and cut him off! To at least stop My wolf's him. gonna die. My wolf will just cut him off! Uh, Roll an intelligence horse. check for Lovecraft, please. An intelligence for Lovecraft? Yeah. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, that's not good at all. Mm. Two. Two? <laughs> they have a minus four, are you kidding me? Trash. Yeah, so he's not like a uh, her a uh, herding dog, right? So he kind of just chases after it. Okay. Uh, Gets the game almost. I'm gonna keep chase. And at this point, I'm going to release Dawn from the carriage, yes. oh, and I'm going to chase after the other horse. Okay. Who's Dawn, the horse. Oh right, yeah, him Dawn and Dusk. God, you guys are so edgy. <laughs> Fuck man. I love it. <laughs> Why'd you release Dawn? I'm riding Dawn. Oh, you're riding Dawn. Oh, okay, okay. I'm Dawn. I'm just gonna yes. keep. I'm gonna keep dashing after it. See if I can okay. catch up. Uh, so your movement speed would be 80 joke. feet, right? 80 feet. The best I can do. Yeah. Yeah. Horses, 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 horses are 60 feet. So that should be plus dash. Yeah, so 120. Yeah. Yes. Can I? So you're not. You're not able to catch up to it. What if I <laughs> throw something at him? <laughs> like I don't know. Maybe like a spear or something. <laughs> well, I have. Uh, what do I have item wise? Roll an end handling check again, just to see how good you are at riding horses. Oh, you get in that one too, you piece of shit. <laughs> Yo, we're all trying to be on the same team here. Claim. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yes! Get fucked! Why do you have to say it? <laughs> we're, all, we're all on the same team here, guys. <laughs> Wait, I have 50 feet, hem and rope. How, how far away is this, this horse from me? He's 80, 120. 40 feet? Can I try and rope him? It'd be more than one turn already. Well, no, because I'm dashing and he's dashing, so like, where's like a stalemate of him being like 40 feet ahead, isn't it? No, because oh. it's first he, he gets 40 is feet further away from yeah. every turn. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so he's not close enough for you to use your rope. I can't try and yell or anything. God damn it. Uh, so you're fucked off the horse, Lazarus. <laughs> well. But the horse doesn't run off too far away. Can I walk the horse? Put him back on the carriage. Okay. I'll say goodbye to Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just do a breath of the wild whistle and see if he comes back? <laughs> if that works, I'm be so pissed. Uh... Yeah, I'm just trying to decide if that's performance or if that's animal handling. Do you have any bond with the source? <laughs> uh, roll, roll survival first to check if you know, like, a How horse whistle. whistle. <laughs> How to whistle. Okay. 20, 30, 20. Yeah, so you, you know that horses do, like, a certain whistling sound, so I'll just roll performance now. 
Ui, das ist Nine. <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't come back. How, oh, well. How far approximately would the horse be for me? I'm way back by the carriage. Probably. It'd probably be like 200 feet by now. Oh, damn. All right. Um, we just, we just have to wait for him to get tired. I will continue to chase after him. <laughs> if you stop chasing, then you'll stop running. No, I'm just going to wave my arms. I'm going to keep dashing. It's like a cat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to keep dashing after him. Okay, uh... I could have caught that horse if you didn't say anything about the feline but agility. Sorry. I, yeah. I probably would have realized it. Nah. And, yeah. Nah, you wouldn't. Nah, we're good. It's fine. <laughs> it, damn it! I can't have anything nice. <laughs> right, no, that's yeah, fine. so <laughs> you keep on running and running and running. The horse keeps on running and running and running. <laughs> and at some point, you don't see your... Uh, Party members and Mark. How does he not like stop? Because he's running from horse? you. <laughs> stupid horse. He knows me. Okay, fine. I'll stop. He got okay. scared of me. Yeah. <laughs> I know. All right, fuck this. Fine. I will turn around and I will start walking back. Okay. At this point, I'll. I would have put Dawn back on the carriage and kind of just start going back down the path. Slowly. Yeah. Okay. I would have put uh, Zerthros in the, the back. Okay. Yeah, he he I'm is now okay. woken up again. Oh, okay, he's he's a bit dazed. All right. Other than that, he is all right. Yeah. <laughs> so like, by the time I get back, are you guys gone? <laughs> no, we're like we're walking the way you went. Yeah. Oh, so, like, oh, it was dusk that we lost. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The first thing I say to Seth Rose is, "Uh, we're going to dusk." <laughs> <laughs> okay. So eventually, you okay. guys. <laughs> Are able to see the horse again, and it has stopped, and you're able to kind of guide it back. Oh, good. See it work itself out. <laughs> it is still kind of uh, not exactly comfortable with you, please. <laughs> Fucking. Do we have a This is bag? bullshit. I want that <laughs> wizard man to fix me. I'm tired of this shit. We're going. Maybe uh, 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 what's his name? The brother. If we're gonna beat up, maybe he can Mr. Mister, 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 yeah. Mister Misters can save me. We're gonna find Mister Mithers and kill him and take all this stuff because <laughs> I'm immediately smitten with Mister Misters. Whatever. The point is that Blaze is now even more upset about his current predicament because I have a plus two nano handling. <laughs> I can't even fucking catch a horse. This is garbage. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> product. <and pin. laughs> It's got a lot of advantages, but a lot of disadvantages, you know? What advantage do I have? There are no advantages to this. <laughs> yeah, I would be so badass, but I, a bunch of my shit went down. Right, whatever. And you guys are able to, like, put the wagon back up on its wheels and get everything already to go, to go again. Cool. I'm gonna sit in the back. I don't want to ride the horses anymore. I don't want to drive. So who is driving, then? I'll drive. Okay, just roll in and the head of the I again. Are we ready for a three and a half ones in a row? I'm just. No. Uh, uh, we're good. Say. Yeah, you're able to uh, keep control of them. So, can we just cut like the first 13 minutes of the <laughs> <laughs> Uh So, you guys travel for another few hours and uh, you start to hear the. I guess. More wind, so like as if because there's all usually more wind over lakes because there's nothing to like stop the wind from yeah. blowing, right? And eventually, you're able to see the lake and you approach, 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 and uh, you're at the lake now. So, I uh, as you look around, you see remnants of small boats and canoes and stuff like that. Some washed up on shore right now, some already washed up on shore. And also, as you look further, you see miscellaneous bones that have washed up as well on the beach. Some are broken, some are completely together. Uh, just roll a investigation or perception check. You Looks guys like choose. Yeah. They had lots of fun on the beach. <laughs> Investigation or what, sorry? Or perception. Okay, I'll take perception. 17. 13. 18. <laughs> uh, so, the three of you, excluding Ryan, notice that all the skulls you see that are scattered around have their have the uh, skull like cracked open, and there's nothing inside. And all of the bones you see are completely devoid of any flesh. Wow! 
It appears they're high on protein because the brain is high on protein. So I'm not surprised if it would crack inside this coal and try to get some of that. So clearly, this is a scary monster. <laughs> Can I throw a bone for Lovecraft? No! <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you meant like throw it in the lake. And I was like, wait, haven't you seen Lord of the Rings? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to pick up a bone. Okay. Um, so I get bones nearby? Yeah, there are lots of good, like, bones from people and like humanoids and stuff like that okay. i'm gonna check the one of the canoes so you threw one and then lovecraft runs tor- runs towards where you threw it picks up and then picks up like two more and comes back at you where you just throw throw it again Nice. Uh, I'll throw it on swan. Okay. Throw it into the water. And make it <laughs> All right. So <laughs> Aaron, that's, a, that's a jaw scene. All right. Yeah, so Aaron now is playing fetch. I'm going to look through the boats on the shore. See if I can find anything. Okay. Uh, all of the boats are just like remnants of boats. So oh, like, there's no like. Okay. No, there's no full boats. All of them are broken in one way or another. Okay. There are a couple that seem that are mostly intact, but just with holes in them and stuff. Do you think I might know? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. But look for a really flat rock. Yeah, oh, you, God damn it. Uh, you're easily like, able to find some flat rocks. I will go first. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> would I know what this monster is? Because, like, do I know anything about, like, monsters that eat the brains or, like, break the uh, Roll a perception check. Perception? Yeah. Okay. Because you'd, you'd probably also be looking out into the lake itself. I meant, like, I haven't heard of one before, but uh, seven for perception. Uh, okay, so... First of all, uh, you do know a few different beings and monsters that eat brains. You're not, from just what you've seen, you're not able to determine exactly what it would be from here. Oh, okay. And the only thing you see with your perception check and see you look over the lake is just some extreme waters. So, like, rapids and, like, huge waves in the center of the lake. And you do see a few islands here and there. Okay. Um, it's large lake. Okay. I'm just going to sit down. I'm going to pull up my wildlife book. I'm just going to read through that, see if there's anything I recognize. Okay. For, like, water creatures. Or try to skip that stone as close to the center of the lake. I would advise not doing that. It is a really far ways out of the center of the lake. But I'm still going to try. I yeah. would so seriously advise. Remember the last time you messed with water? You almost got killed by a bunch of frogs! Oh, I'm yeah. not jumping in the water this time. <laughs> no, you're just aggravating it! It's just cool to not frogs. Oh, sorry. This check? Yeah. 14. 14? Uh, you, t- you throw the rock and it skips like probably like 20 times and gets about a quarter, I'd say a third of the way to the center of the lake. I don't know. Nice I just keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to spend some time reading my book here. Yeah. We'll okay. see if I can find anything I know. And can everyone roll perception checks? Like if you're looking out into the lake to try to determine anything? I'm not. I'm, I'm just, reading. yeah. I don't see any. 16. 16. Uh, 19. 19. You're just admiring your skipping. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's a good ripple. Good job, Lazarus. Uh, so... First off, like what Blaze saw earlier, you see a lot of water splashing up and down and side to side and big waves in the very center of the lake. As well, the two of you see the occasional head and neck of a large, kind of smooth beast mm-hmm. in the center of the lake. Everyone's all coming out of the water. And you do notice that one of the islands is near the very center. It's a small what island, but near. Sorry? The monster? Uh, it's like grayish blue. Rock ness monster. <laughs> Tell and me it that. seems like a pretty large head and neck. That's cool. Um, what did you guys see? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of something clever. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Sometimes we can literally just tell each other things. <laughs> Our next opponent. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I stopped playing fetch with uh, Lovecraft and I. Uh, <laughs> no, for real! Yeah. What'd you say? <laughs> like, anything to know. help me look from what this is. This is like grayish blue. Grayish blue? Smooth skin. Smooth skin. Okay. This is me role playing the sound of him through his book. And do you think you can see the glint of teeth at what's all too? It's 
Oh fuck that nerve get down, doesn't it? Listen, uh, listen, like, quality. All right. I think Does that help me at all? I think it's alive. Uh, roll a history check. Thanks. Just let me know what I in the water. Eats people. Maybe it can't. The ultimate curse. Yeah, I guess history works. It's actually just thrashing kind of survive. Do, 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 do I get do I get advantage? Because they're helping me. <laughs> Fuck, no. You just hate me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Twenty four. Yeah. So you're pretty sure that this beast that they saw is a plesiosaurus. Oh, oh. And, and a large one at that. All right, all right, perfect. I relay the information. I say, ah, we're dealing with a plesiosaurus. <laughs> Sorry, my voice is so weird. I'll use this oh, one. <laughs> we're dealing with the plesiosaurus. <laughs> I thought you were gonna make us fight an apple. No, Dude, that's like a fucking like high level. <laughs> I, know, I know. You guys could take it an apple. Like if we go by the uh, XP range, it would just be a difficult one. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no, no, I'm the idea. <laughs> okay, guys. I, took, I was thinking of that too, but I thought something actually, better. Cool. This is really amazing. I don't think people have seen plesiosaurus in so long. This is wow. So uh, saying we should kill it. Yeah, obviously, but like, <laughs> when we kill it, try and like save some parts for me so I can examine. And also with like all of the waves and like uh, rapid waters that all of you saw, you do think that. A water elemental might be there too. Oh wow! Just throw them at us. Uh, I think there's a water elemental as well. We should be very careful. Those are tough. Those are not fun. I'm gonna pull out my long sword. <laughs> <laughs> Just at the ready, man. I don't know what's gonna happen. All right, let's. Uh, how do you guys want to get over there? There's not really many boats. There are a few canoes and stuff that are. So there were remnants. Yeah, I, I also said there were a few that were. That only that were somewhat alright. Like they still had they had holes in them and cracks and stuff. Oh, can we take one of those and maybe just like patch them with the remnants? How far away is the coast to island? Uh, so there are islands spotted all throughout the lake. So the no. first island would probably be around like three hundred feet out. Then another one is more to the left would be probably six hundred feet out. You probably could swim through your feet. No. <laughs> I was um, just going to see if I could uh, talk more to me. Oh, yeah. I do not want to touch the water. Okay. I'm going to start fixing up one of the boats. Okay, just roll a survival check. Would anyone like to help me fix this boat? If only we had some ramen. If only we had a literal craftsman. Yeah, do you want to help us fix the boat? No, I think you Forge domain? Oh, bastard. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> 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 this way it's funnier. Blaze throws the wood away. He doesn't want to, doesn't want to make this stupid boat anymore. He just sits down. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Uh, I'll, survival? Yeah, survival. I'll help Ryan. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> wow, I got a nine. Should I roll? Do I have a or? Yeah, he has these helping you up advantage. <laughs> I was going to roll for you, then you rolled already, and then it was just... Well, you, you all you gotta do is say you're helping me. <laughs> Something. Yeah, you're able to catch uh, one of the canoes... Up enough to like be able to be waterborne again. I think we're all going to fit in that. Can four of us fit in one canoe? Probably not. You should, should probably fit three. There's... And Zerthos is here too. The thing is, should four of us fit in one No, it's already like it's shitty as it is. Why don't right. we just fix up a few? Well, let's get another canoe. Yeah, two in each canoe. Yeah. 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 That's all right. right. I'll do it. I'll do it. Plus Zerthos and Bloodcraft. Yeah. Yeah, which we totally haven't forgotten about. Natural twenty. Yeah, so you're working on this next new, and your hands are like magic. And within minutes, this new is just mm. looking good as new. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Did you just name drop? <laughs> <laughs> um, wicked. All right. Uh, all right. Let's set sail. Bring up two. Then how many? You could probably fit three in each canoe, I think. Be a, like, I is there enough to build one more canoe? Yeah. We might as well then build yeah. one more. I feel like we spread out. We all go separate directions. <laughs> Somebody helping me? I'll help. 
because that was a not one. Wow, guys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, you're able to make another decent new. <laughs> Sorry, but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so who's going in each new? Mm, I'm with Lovecraft. Okay. I'll go with Ryan. All right. So you're with I guess I the bard. <laughs> <laughs> the bard that you think is a bad omen. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> if you cause any trouble, I'll drown you. <laughs> He's going to be at the front of the canoe. Okay. <laughs> so you can steer. Yeah, but I'll just <laughs> keep an eye on him. Oh, oh that's okay. Oh. Uh, Lovecraft will steer for us now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll be swimming and like pushing the canoe in my paws. Uh, so yeah, uh, as you're canoeing, are you going to the first island or just going to try to go straight to the center? Probably. We should search these islands. Yeah, let's play it safe. Just go to the first island. Are that you way. Gonna... Can you? Should I? You would be better at it. I've never been on a boat. Probably in my life. me. I'm yeah. a little like also, I have a little more strength. I feel like you're pretty heavy, guys. You also don't like Wait, don't like water, right? Yeah, that's true. No, yeah, smaller. Yeah. But yeah. shit yeah, happens. So, yeah, I can, like roll it. I probably okay. Doesn't matter. I'll sure, do it. Doesn't matter. Do it. All right, you've got it. I don't care I, as long as you're not splashing. All right. I I've had a very stressful few weeks. Scoop <laughs> up some water and throw it. <laughs> this is literally bullying. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> Um, for fucking asshole. Tell a parent. Oh, uh, tell a parent. Would that be constant? Yeah. Uh, I I panic. Uh, <laughs> I panic a little bit, and I freak out. Uh, and I I, I throw my paddle at him. <laughs> Can I catch the paddle? Uh, roll a dexterity saving throw. I mean, or would it be that, or would I roll the hit? Because I'm not really trying oh, to hit him. Yeah, I just okay. freaked out, like, flung oh, okay. my paddle yeah. at him. So. I would say that. I, I just dexterity save the throw is good. Uh, I might save you're not able to catch it, but you're able to scoop it from the water, like, right as soon as it hits the water. Sweet. I would have kept paddling at this point. <laughs> hearing all this commotion behind me, I think they're getting attacked. <laughs> 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 Maybe we should have thought this through better. Yeah. Like, we should have done like a vertical line because I feel like that would have been like the right. most strategic way. Just stealthy. So you can't you can't move now. Just in the water. I mean, he has one paddle. Yeah. Okay. Please don't do that. <laughs> All right. Fuck. All right. I'm gonna grab the other paddle and I'm just gonna paddle away from Ryan and then forward. You just gonna hold on to the paddle. I guess so. All right. We can't really throw it towards me, so. We could, but I'm good with the speed. You can go faster. Yeah, it helps. <laughs> Three paddles. <laughs> you need I to grind out some yeah. paddling. All right. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Just yeah, slide. either way. Yeah, I guess okay. we'll keep going towards the island. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you got to this first island. It's only like around 50 feet by 50 feet. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple... There's only a few bushes on it, and no trees or anything. No buildings of any kind. A few rocks that are jutting out in some spots. Uh, but you're able to get on this island and just as a rest from your canoe. And you notice that the Plesiosaurus and Water Elemental have not noticed you yet, somehow. How far away are they from this island? Uh, they would probably be another thousand feet away. Nice. So the next closest island, he would be either one to the front and to the left of you about 200 feet then the next one would be next closest would be pretty straight in front of you by about 500 feet okay hmm. i'll take a look around this island see if you can spawn anything of value yeah okay i'll walk around as well and i'll have my long sword at ready okay uh just roll investigation checks Investigation. While they're doing this, I'm going to take some rope and tie it to my spear. Okay. Nice. Like a heartbeat. Uh, uh, 16. 3, 16. So the only stuff you notice is that there's a few other, like, broken down boats and, like, pals and a few weapons strewn, maybe a few bones all around. I'm going to take two extra paddles. Okay. I thought you were going to say, I'm going to take two bones. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, you got a 16. Yeah. So you notice the same thing, and you also notice that... You notice... You do find a couple uh, swords and some arrows, quivers. They see, uh, the swords are a bit rusty, the arrows are still in good shape. As well, you do find a pouch that has ten gold pieces in it. In it. Nice. I will take, uh, how many arrows do I find? You find, uh, eight of them. Woohoo! I will take those arrows. Um, and the gold as well. Okay. Uh, and none of the swords are, like, in decent enough condition to be used. Most well. of them are pretty rusty. Okay. You could still use them. But it's just rusty. Not as good as any sword you have right now. More damage for rusty. Have some hepatitis. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a tetanus shot? <laughs> Roll for tetanus. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to take one of the rusty swords, actually, and like, okay. I'm going to equip it in my other hand. So I okay. got a long sword and a rusty sword. Nice. Yeah, sure. Nice. Uh, Do you want a short sword or a long sword? Uh, short sword's probably easier to throw, right? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to take a short sword. Okay. I'm going to throw it. Okay. And that's basically all that you find on the island. Oh, I'll take it. And you've made a harpoon with your spear. Is there anything anyone else wants to do, or just go to the, one of the next islands? Probably the next island. Yeah. Okay, so which one are you going to? The one like straight toward, or the one to the uh, left more? I'm going to cross the one. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you guys are able to uh, ca- canoe, and did he give, did he give plays his pal back? Yeah, when we got to the island, okay. yeah. Okay. What are you guys looking for? Sorry, I'm just I'm trying to find my marker. I'm gonna give it back to you. I yeah, I don't know where I put it. Uh, oh, unless I accidentally put it back to that thing. No, I don't know. It's fine. I'll okay. just grab another one. We'll keep going. Okay. Yeah. So you guys are able to make it to the next island without any. We're actually the rule of self checks as your pal, please. Fifteen. Eight. And I'll, I'm going to take the average. And that one. Uh, I got a six. Yeah, so you guys are not doing a good job of keeping quiet as you're doing. You're having a few problems, like maybe as if you guys hadn't cleared before. And I have not cleared you before. I'm terrible in water, yeah. so. Yeah, and some water's going in some of the boats, so that might freak some of you out a little bit more. Uh, you do make it to the island, and just roll a perception check, please. Eight. 16. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen as well. Uh, the three of you notice the plesiosaurus looking your way, and you don't see the water elemental. We've been had! I know we're here! I cast protect you at any What's the range for that? Thirty feet. Thirty feet? Why detect any though? Because it tells me if there's a... Elemental's aberration space allows me to do Oh, does it? Wow. How long does gas work? I think it's 10 minutes. Sure. Cool. I thought it would just like tell you like if someone's good or evil. Aberration still allows you to elemental space and you're undead within 30 feet of you, where it's located. Uh, concentration is 10 minutes, 30 feet range. I'm also going to catch pass code phrase. Nice. So, all of us plus have 10. a. Still, yeah, plus so 10. Spell checks and we can't be tracked except by magical means, and we don't need to be behind any marks Okay. And I'm uh, just gonna immediately dive in the bush. <laughs> and, oh, on the island. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're in the water, they're not gonna come onto the island. You I know that. <laughs> well, the uh, water with the light, but the pleosaurus isn't. Shh, hide. <laughs> just make our way to the next island already. Here. So you don't notice any evil around you in the vicinity of 30 feet. Uh, so you assume the water elemental isn't near yet. Let's just hurry off to the island. Do you really want to be in open water when the elemental Hello? Passes? The monster's in open water. We're going to have to get there eventually. Wait here for the elemental. And... Get in on the way. I like that. Oh, you're right. Let me blow my water elemental attraction whistle. <laughs> oh, wait, there isn't one. <laughs> just throw you in the water. <laughs> Fucking dare you to try. <laughs> Seriously, stop picking on police. 
<laughs> Wait, you're doubting my methods of survival. Your method of survival is killing me. <laughs> That's not cool. <laughs> survival of the fans. Wish Farron was here. <laughs> I, uh, Blaze is kind of mad, so he's just gonna pick up a rock. He's like, fine, you want his attention? And I'll throw the rock into the water. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. There! I got his attention! Yeah, so you do see waves coming towards you guys now. Oh, here it comes! <laughs> and I pull out my quarter staff, and I jump back. Okay, is there anything anyone wants to do first? Uh, it, it's probably around 200 feet away right now. Like, so we're, like, you're on the island. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can I try to stuff in the bushes as well? Yeah. Yeah, right, sweet. yeah so the two of you just roll stealth checks. Yeah. Plus 10. Hell yeah. Thank you. Mad 20. Uh, you have disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 19. 19? Yeah, uh, both of you are stealth. Nice. And I'll get my longbow ready. Yeah, and my long yeah. expert at the ready. Uh, anything else? I'm just gonna stand like 50 feet away from the shoreline. Actually, I'll get my long. So the island is only around 50 feet by 50 feet as well. Oh, well, I'll. It's not a big island. Okay, well then I'll just I'll just stand like 10 feet back from the shore. Okay. okay. I'm gonna. I'm ready to beat the shit out of something. So I'm gonna be ready and as soon as it's within range. I'm gonna cast cutting bolt. Okay. Because one twenty feet. Okay. From that book to you, and it's not with breaks there. <laughs> Yeah, so we eventually... I'm gonna hit it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> eventually, this water elemental does get within range, so feel free. That's not one. That one? Hey. Jesus Christ. <laughs> feel feel open fire you out. should really call the show that one instead. <laughs> oh, That's the spin-off. Well. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. I don't so what do you do when you use guidance bolt? Is it like you throw a bolt or like point or what? I'm just gonna point my hammer at it. Okay. And it's like a flash of light streaks towards the target. You're drunk. So like, yeah. Door. It explodes. You die. Yeah, so you just point your uh, hammer at it, and uh, the wind just kind of blows your arm at one point, and it just points to the left instead, and you, well, you completely miss. And in the distance, you hear so, the faint scream of a child. <laughs> so like he's been shot down in the sky. <laughs> no, it comes from me. Oh, it comes from you? Yeah. I was going to say, the king of the sky, you know, like, it's trying to find the fastest way to the ground, yeah. so just... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm not okay. Is that electricity? Kind no, of? It's radiant. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'd be cast that all the fire, too. Okay. Well, you'll lose your hiding position, then. Uh, I'd say he'd still be able to hide this Would next turn, because he got, like, a nat 20 plus 10 oh, for right. still. Okay. Plus whatever he already has for self. Plus a six. That was a road in 19. So he's as gone as Baron right now. Pretty much. I got a 36. <laughs> nice. And Lovecraft. <laughs> oh, wait, I mean, Lovecraft's here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Two plus six. I got eight. For my pack level. It misses. <laughs> hey, can everyone roll initiative, please? It was a warning shot. I'm trying to figure out what the 15. 16. 16. Nice. Good job. Hey, let your, uh, let your shot. You were an eight. Good attack. Good one. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. I've been rolling a lot of eights lately. Lately. <laughs> oh. Nice. nice. Uh, Zach, what did you get? Eight. Eight. Ryan? Everyone else? Sixteen as well. Please? Fifteen. Mm -hmm. Sixteen. Life is sweet. And growing up so fast. It's from the show 16. Okay, so versus either Ryan or Ailrin. Well, how far away is the elemental? Okay, well, I guess He'd be probably about. Sorry to interrupt. About 100 feet away. Or do you want to go to see who goes first? Or do you care? Huh? So above 10 is you, below 10 is me. Alright, so you go. I'll cast Guiding Bolt again. Okay. This time, Guiding. The right direction, and I got a <laughs> <laughs> I, I can see the pain on Gage's face. He's like, <laughs> Are longbows martial weapons? 
that's like plus your uh, um, dexterity or yes. plus your attack that. bonus. Yeah. Plus I use my dex instead of strength for it. Uh, you use dex. I was not made for combat. Only for <laughs> unarmed or martial weapons. I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> So, oh, it's a ranged weapon. Oh, okay. yes. Yes. All right. 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 You also do have your double side blunt right. I'm not proficient with it. Doesn't matter. It's got two sides. You should be able to have one. That's fine. Um, I'm going to swing out the old uh, longbow. And I'm going to. Actually, um, how far away is it from me? About 100 feet. Um, do you think I could throw my. Rusty short sword at it. Give it tetanus. Oh Uh, actually, would I know? You can try to hit it. Yeah. Can I like try uh, and like identify its weaknesses? What's the rule for that? Yeah, I think you can do that. Can't you? Or no, I think that's a druid thing. No, that's a druid thing. Yeah, that's like shliach or whatever. Shliach. Shliach. So that that count as my my main attack. Yeah. Are you throwing it. Um. Yeah, it's worth it. I'm gonna throw it. Okay. Um, uh, uh, dexterity. Dexterity. Yeah. Well, that's like your proficiency plus dexterity. All right, I can do that. Throw it 100 feet away because it's rusty. 15. How do you get? 15. You hit it. Nice. Wow. Uh, what's this? Blood. <laughs> what well, is the damage for the short sword? I guess. Uh, short sword would be D6. D6. Yeah. Would that be plus anything? I guess my. Plus your dexterity. Dexterity? Yeah. For a sword? Or I guess you're throwing it. Yeah, I'm throwing it. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's going to be a three. Three? Okay. Got him. You dropped zero off. <laughs> Roll over for the chance of tennis. <laughs> uh, It'd be so funny that part of the movie. Yeah, I attributed yeah. the sword. <laughs> and we might get tennis. <laughs> Roll a D100 if he's under a 5. <laughs> oh, but he's back. <laughs> okay, so next is the is I'll pull out the longbow that I'm not proficient in, but uh, I'll shoot an arrow. My brother. I'll try and shoot an arrow at him, yeah. Uh, 18 plus yeah, 4, 22. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, what does a longbow do again, sorry? 1D8. Is it a 1D8? Yeah. Uh, 4 plus... What do you, you add? Dex. Dex, so... Yeah. 8. 8? Eight? 8 damage. Come at me, motherfucker! <laughs> right. so, Pokemon, please! So it hits and just goes right through. It does seem to have done some damage, but it just goes right through. That's right, it's water. Resistant to fusing. Probably slashing, too. No, that's just paying attention. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> okay! Uh, so next will be the elemental. He's got nothing on I'm it. not scared of you, fucker! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so first, it will try to slam against. It'll try to slam Zerthos first. Uh, oh, it's, 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 in, it's in range now, then, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, I didn't come on. Uh, that guy, if he uh, destroys Zerthos, that she's gonna come back with a diss track. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you guys' hit points at? I forgot who put that in Zerthos. 48. 48? 30. 37. 30. 30. Oh, 45. Which one? Thanks. Still moments so fast. Your splash attack does damage. Ooh. Uh, so it, it hits Zerthos and will do... Oh, boy. Uh, 18 damage. Oh, okay. What's the layout right now? Like, is there anything we can use to, like, cover? Uh... Not really, like, the only stuff on this island is just some bushes. Just, uh, lay down and put the canoe over <laughs> you. <yourself. laughs> <laughs> no, that's the legit strategy. Yeah. We could use a canoe yeah. to get cover. At least half cover. Or we like, could walk across the bottom of the water, like, in parts of the Caribbean. Can we try to just fish it in We actually probably could. We could do that after we're not in combat. Well, it's <laughs> probably the best move to do, honestly. And then we can tack them from below. We'll just, like, come okay. out of the water, they won't yeah. see us. And we'll then, swim off with the sword, like, point it up. <laughs> I mean, this is a water elemental, and it's in water. Okay. I'm just wondering, like, so I can, like, position myself. Yeah. So I can, like... Not in the water, I guess. So, like, so I'm at shore, 
you're in a bush. You two are like, where you're, are I'm you? I'm right there. I'm right you're, on the coast. You're right with me on the shore? I, I was in the bush as well. So you two are in a bush. I'm on shore. Where's Jerthos? Zerthos, Zerthos is near the shore. He's near the shore as well. Yeah. So we're at the shore. And he's like coming to shore? Is he on shore yet? Or? Uh, the water elemental is pretty much at shore. Just cool. tacking from there. Okay. I just want to know. So yeah. if he goes by, I can yeah. hit him or something. Okay. Uh, yeah, so the elemental missed his second attack, and it is now Dazzers. Okay, cool. Found out that, uh, Longbow's extra attack, it counts as, I mean, uh, new two attacks with Longbow with extra attack. Oh, oh I forgot I have extra attack! Ah, yeah. Nice time. It's been too long since we played. Since we get combat, the last few episodes we haven't done much combat either. So, yeah. I'm going to use a bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark on the elemental. Okay. And then I'm going to use my two attacks to shoot two arrows. Okay. And my first dice. So I got a nat one and a 14. Uh, 14 hits. Cool. Nat one goes way off in the opposite direction. Just another warning shot. Stay away, please, source. <laughs> Don't go over there. <laughs> That's five. Five? Oh, plus nine. Six. So four. So nine. Nine damage. Uh, next is Zerthos. Uh, so he will use... Uh, what will he use? He'll use Thunder Wave on it. Uh, he failed to save, so he'll do ooh, 16 damage. Uh, then Lovecraft, do you, do you have Lovecraft saps? Uh, well, he's just a wolf, so. Yeah. I have those in the back. Is he a wolf or a dire wolf? He's, wolf. he's just a wolf. wolf. Okay. He's not gonna do much. Dire wolf wouldn't have been fit in the canoe, probably. No, dire wolves are huge. <laughs> uh, so, uh, we're all in five feet of it now at this point, right? The elemental? Uh, if you're on four, then yeah. Okay, good, yeah, because, uh, he has advantage on his attacks as long as an ally's within okay. five feet. Yeah. So. Uh, he, I'm going to tell Lovecraft to go for a bite attack. Uh, four is 13. Misses. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Yeah, he'll just like bunch for try to take a bite, and then for his movement, I'll just tell him to like run away. Okay. Is this all mental going to TPK us? No, <laughs> we'll be fine. Uh, so now it's back up to drawing. Okay. I'm going to use my my fancy game. Actually, first I'm going to... Okay. Is my double-sided longsword a magic weapon? I guess it is magic, yeah, because you do have the thing where you can call it to your hand. Okay. So I'm gonna attack, and then use my bonus action to attack the other side again. Okay. So, to hit, strength, right? Yep. That's a five. Misses. Okay, and the other one's a natural one. So, I'm just gonna go... Home. <laughs> <laughs> I leave the battle. Boy, <laughs> two net ones in two turns. What the fuck? Yeah, you guys are rolling like trash. Yeah, yeah. Hands, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, ail or no? All right. As long as I don't get slaughtered, they won't be TPK. <laughs> this guy won't even know what hit him because I probably won't hit him. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot my longbow again. No. So, uh, I guess I didn't shoot it the first time. Oh, is he, is he that close to it? Yeah, he's like right at shore. So, does he know that I was in the bush with Zach? Because we were both stealth. I wasn't as oh, stealth as right. 19. Oh, right, you're in the bush. Sorry. Uh, he knows you. Damn. All right. Yeah, never mind. I was going to say it's not that close. Okay. But yeah, no, you're not. All right. Well, I'm going to, I guess I'm going to come out with my longsword swinging. Okay. I'm just going to run out and, uh, slash at him. Uh, just. Nice. It's an 18, so that's plus my strength. And yeah, it's like a 23. Yeah, yeah. Alright, sick. Good job. Strength. She's Duncan. Don't be uh, too enthusiastic. Good job, eh? Thanks, man. You're doing better than me. I know. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, so that's 8. 8? Yeah. Okay. That's slash and damage? Yes, sir. You do seem to believe that uh, just your dawn sword isn't doing much damage to it. Just doing something, not much. So, it, so, so it didn't do that full damage? Did I figure no. that? Oh. Yeah. Okay, I can see if bludgeoning does more. 
See if that works. Give it a punch. Well, I got my recorder stuff. Dude. That works too. Do you want anything for your bonus? Uh, I need it. I, I, I'm going to move back a few feet. So like okay. I'd say, because if he was like five feet away, I'd move 30. So I went the five feet. So now I'll say I'll move like 15 feet back. Okay. Just kind of like at a safe distance. Yeah. Okay. Next is phase. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I, for my first attack, I'm going to pull out the peanut brittle can. And I'll pop that open, I'll throw it, uh, the snakes in his direction. So how many snakes does that summon? Uh, 1d6, so just roll a d6. Three. Three of them? Okay. Okay, perfect. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna pop it up and, like, throw it in his face. Okay. And then, uh, for my, or do they do damage right away, or? Uh, yeah, they do damage on your turn. Oh, okay. So I'll, I'll just roll for them. So three of them, so let's see. Amazing. <laughs> Yeah, because I want them to just like, all three of them just like go out and like start like wriggling on his face. I think that'd be dope. I want to impede his vision with my snakes. I don't know if it'll work, but. Uh, so all three hit. Yes. Nice. There we go. Uh, so probably I get three four damage. Of damage. Uh, it's one piercing damage plus three d four poison damage. So that's three damage. Three d four. That's pretty good. I still. Because there's three of them, right? It's three damage. All together. Oh, I thought you said plus three D. Yep. Oh, poison won't. damage. Oh, okay. Okay. I try to poison. No, I know, but I mean, like, even if it's in his face, like, if it can impede his vision a little bit. So they probably just fall yeah, through, though. Right. I'm thinking about it. Thank you. Okay, but uh, I thought it was a bonus action. That's only a bonus action. Yep. Oh, beautiful. Well, then I'll use my attack action to use my quarter staff. Okay. Right Plus six, six is twenty-four yeah, to hit. Yeah, it hits. Yeah. Six, six, four, four. So eight damage. Eight. Yeah. And then I'll use my extra attack to hit him with my. Let me see what armor is effective for me. And again, when you bludge, it doesn't seem to be doing as much damage as. So it doesn't need magical attacks to do damage. I don't got any magic items though for battle. I was trying to get my <laughs> and I used staff <laughs> like upgrade to be magical, but I'll do that later. Uh, uh, so yeah, I'll just hit him with my core staff again. And I'm gonna use um, stunning strike. Okay. So does that should I re-roll that? Uh, no, that's an eighteen. That is an eighteen. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, so twenty four again to hit. Yeah, you hit. Okay, so I'm gonna spend. A, oh, I'll do the damage first. Sorry, so, so, ten damage. Okay. And then I'm going to use my Stunning Strike. And that's magical damage, or...? My staff? No. Oh! No, I said I'm going to upgrade it to be magical eventually. Um, stunning Strike is a different, I'll explain it. Yeah, I, I thought you said you did four dam or 8 damage with your staff before. You did. Yeah, so what was that roll for? That was, that was for the damage that I just did for my extra attack. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm okay. doing my other attack action. Okay. And I'm going to spend a key point to do Stunning Strike. So... Target must succeed on a constitution saving throw, and my DC is 13. Hit. Or he will be stunned for his turn. He failed. So he's stunned for a turn. Nice. And I'll use uh, my 40 speed movement to back away. Out of range. Yeah, I'm actually, because if we're on shore and there's a few bush advantages, I'm just going to back up and then like rush like tw back 20 feet and then rush 20 feet. Can I reach one of the bushes? Or... Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll just I'll dive into one of those. Dive into bushes. And then that'll be my turn. So he can't do anything this turn because he's done. He can't move. He can't take opportunity attacks. Um, yeah. And everyone gets advantage when he's stunned. Okay. And he can't attack at all, right? Uh, I oh, think. Yeah. Can right, he? No, he can't attack. He's yeah. incapacitated. Yeah, and he so, doesn't have a saving throw against this on this turn, does he? No, it only lasts for the one turn. So okay. at the beginning of his next turn, he won't be stunned. Okay. Yeah, so uh, is next is... Oh, oh, the end of my next turn. Okay. Okay, next. So he's yeah. done that until my turn. So uh, Lazarus. I'm just going to shoot your arrows again. Okay, and you have advantage. Yeah. So that's a nat 20 and a 14. And a 11. The uh, nat 20 only hits. I'm fine with that. Six. 16. 16? Nice. Uh, so... How much of the damage is from Hunter Spike? How much is just from a regular arrow? One from the Hunter Spike. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Then, so 15 was the rest. 
Because those monkeys weren't get an extra die for a critical. Uh, sure. Why not? An extra two. Yeah. Uh, so this elemental is looking um, moderately well damaged. Like about a third of it, at least, has like gone away and it's been cut away, I guess. And it's not able to like rebuild as much. So if he's incapacitated, yeah, uh, like attack within five feet or critical is. I don't believe so. I think it's prone. Is that prone? Yeah, I think that's prone. I think that's prone. Just push him over. I'll look it up. Yeah, and then incapacitated creatures just can't take any actions or reactions. Oh, okay, cool. But you do have advantage on your attack. Yeah. Uh, we could all. It is there those next? Yeah. We don't roll like shit. Uh, let's see. We'll use Aldrich Blast. I forgot that my DC was 13. I've been using like 11 for the last little while. You know, it upgraded. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so he hits. And he'll deal. What did he do? Uh, Aldrich Blast. Aldrich Blast. Yeah. Uh, he'll do seven damage. Fuck him up! Oh. He can't <laughs> move! Get him! <laughs> Two. Uh, so next is Lovecraft. Lovecraft? Okay, well, now he has advantage. Does, what does it mean? Because he has advantage when one of us is one five feet, and then he has advantage now because he's done what I just... There's no double advantage. Right? No, no, just like just regular to, attack? Yeah. I wasn't. I, I didn't know, so I wanted to double check. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Save this page. Okay, all right. Uh, plus, what is it, four for him, I think? Yeah, four. So, 17? That hits. Okay, cool. Uh, so, three, four plus two. Five, seven damage. Seven damage? Yeah. And that's uh, piercing. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, piercing. Is. And if the target is a creature, is it a creature? No. No? Okay. All right, so yeah, I'll just have him bite and then uh, back away again. Okay. No, I'll have him come to me, actually. Yeah, in the bush with me. Okay. Yeah, so uh, we're back up to Ryan. Yeah, I'm going to use my double spin longsword again. And do you have a fan, Sean? Your cats. You know what? Love stunning strike. Okay. So that's uh, 18 to hit. Yeah, definitely hits. And then just to see if it was a natural quantity for the bonus action to strike again. So. See, 3d10, I guess. What are you using? Got any both again? No, it's the long sword picked up last game. Oh, 3d10. 2, 8, 11, 12, 13 damage. 13? Okay. Nice! Yeah, so that took like his entire, one of his entire arms off. Hell That's yes. Nice. Ooh. Spoosh! And then it is Aelrenal. No oh. running on the shoreline! <laughs> so, uh... I'm gonna run out of my... <laughs> <laughs> I said no running! Attack with my long sword again. Okay. Um, and so when I slash him, like, would my sword, like, go through him since he's, like, a water... Yeah. Can I, like, run and, like, slash through him and then kind of, like, spin around and end up on the other side? Like, very, like, gracefully? Sure. Hell yeah. Like, I want to run and slash and kind of spin back around and have my sword pointed towards him. Because, you know. Yeah. You know, if I can kill someone gracefully, I'm going to do it. Oh, that's spicy. All right. Uh, 23. Spicy. Yeah, that is. There's, right. there's nothing magical about your long swords there. Uh, no, it's just nice. It's just, it's just nice. long. <laughs> it's nice. Oh, I guess I have advantage. I'm going to roll to see if I get a nat 20. Oh, okay. Um, okay, uh, so it's 1d8. Ah, uh, so 10 damage. 10? Okay. Yeah. So you did slice a, a section into him, and then you spun around and are nice. behind him now. Yeah. Uh, next to it is Blaze. Okay, uh, I'm going to lunge out, and I'm going to use another key point. To do Fist of Unbroken Air with my unarmed strike. Okay, so you still have advantage, right? It's yeah, it's at the end, the end of, of my turn. turn. Okay, yeah. So, he has to make uh, create a blast, press air that strikes like a mighty fist. 
or two key points, sorry, and choose a creature. Yeah, let's make a strength saving throw. If he's like that, does he have disadvantage then on his saving throw? Uh, the creature automatically fails strength and dexterity saving throws. Yes. Okay, perfect. So he's going to take uh, 3d10 bludgeoning damage. Okay. 3d10. 3 uh, And he will be pushed up 20 feet away from me. Okay. And not a prone. So he's prone. I rolled 7 plus 9 is 16 plus 5. It's 21. 21 damage. Yep. Nice. And then for my bonus action, I'll use just a, an arm strike. Okay. So a cat's claws. Or I don't have that anymore. That's right, because I'm not a fucking cat. Bullshit. But I'll still do an arm strike. 15. Uh, plus yeah. 6 is 15. 15, yeah, that hits. Okay, so that's just D4 plus strength, which is 3. 3. Yep. And then I'll use extra attack to use my uh, Sun and Stars quarter staff again. Plus, what is it? Six uh, is 23. Yeah, it hits. Okay. Plus, it is 10 damage. 10? Yeah. Uh, does extra attack get a bonus action too? Or just. No. no? Okay. Well, then no, I have one bonus action. Okay, yeah. So he's prone. I pushed him 20 feet along the shore. So he's still like on shore. And then, yeah, but he's prone. Yeah, so you use your blast and you hit him as hard as you can, and then right after you claw him and use your course after you poke him again, and he just flies back through t- or over Tony. Whoa. Try like through Tony. I like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Tony, <laughs> you get water all. You get like a huge splash of water yeah, just in your face all care. over, and then the water <laughs> elemental just tries to rise up and. He looks menacingly, menace, menacingly annoyed and pissed Ooh. off now. Right. Bring it, bitch. He's not prone. What? He's not prone? No. Oh. That's some crap. So I guess all water elementals out. can't be prone. Oh, they can't be? Oh. So I okay. Guess I'll turn around and face Well, that's the end of my turn, so he's no longer uh, stunned either. So, But we got some dope damage off, so that's good. Uh, so Lazarus. Or no, uh... The elemental is next. Go kick your ass now. <laughs> I, I fucked him up. I yeah, he's going damage. for you, Blaze. <laughs> All right, that's With fine. Both of his. Wait. Ooh, I should have been patient to things. He's going to use Whelm on Whelm. all of you. Oh, fuck. So well, each creature well. within <laughs> the elemental space must make a DC 15 saving throw. Of. Uh, strength saving throw. Yeah. yeah well, that's not cool, man. Oh, oh that is cool. Are you guys are all in somewhat the same space, right? Where I you think I'm in the bush. I don't know if anyone's close to me anymore because everyone else is ran yeah. out. Yeah, I'm on the shore right next to it. I'm so you probably don't have to make the same. I'm, I'm 20, 20 feet away from her. Okay. Sorry, I'm 20 feet away because I didn't move. I didn't use any movement. Uh, so I pushed him with my my move. Well, he's gonna move. He moves up first at this turn, and oh, then okay. he's as well. So you said dex, right? Uh, strength. Strength. Yeah, you said... Oh, that point! Alright, sweet. Uh, you got a name drop. Yeah, shut up. 22. Uh, Zerthos fails. Yes, fuck that guy. Uh, what? Lovecraft fails. Mm. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. No! <laughs> Not Lovecraft, man. Why did they love that? He's just an innocent man. So they'll take 2d plus 4 damage. With Lovecraft HP. Fifteen damage. No! Oh no! <laughs> Lovecraft is at zero. He's unconscious. He only has eleven hit points. Add on to upgrade kill them. Yeah. Well, no, because you have to go negative your full HP. No, it's half. No, it's negative half? your full hit, hit points. Really? Yeah. Why do I think it was half? I don't know. Let's figure out later. The important thing is, even if it was half, like he'd still be alive. Cannon check. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, well. Can we get a DM that knows the most <laughs> yeah, oh, no. He's unconscious. <laughs> Gage, yeah, after that one. <laughs> my boy, my yeah. boy Lovecraft is unconscious. No! I'm just gonna double check that right now because I'm pretty sure it is your full damage. I think we'll level it up. I forgot to up my proficiency stats because my proficiency on four times from two to three. And I like, it should add, these ones should go out. Are right? we level five now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've been level five for a couple sessions. Yeah. Yeah, when oh, you left the I brought the wrong character. She's lost. Oh yeah. Yeah. But yeah, because those those stats go up, right? Yes. Yeah. So what am I doing? 
Yeah, so massive damage can kill you instantly when damage reduces you to zero hit points and there's damage remain. Wait. When damage reduces you to zero hit points and there's damage remain, you die if the remain hit points equals or exceeds your hit point maximum. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Jinx. Not very sweet. So we're good. <laughs> Lovecraft is just unconscious then. Yeah, uh, so, El or no? It's your turn. Yes. Or I just need to make sure it's not. Did you go? No, I didn't go. No, I don't exactly. think so. Yeah. No, I'm next. Yeah, because the water elemental yeah. just went, so. Yeah, back next. Okay. Cool. Still not nice. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> you oh, shot man. so many arrows at it? I mean, the boy. Yeah. We're this, all around. I missed half of them, too. They just kind of. <laughs> yeah, he still doesn't know. You're all just nine. <laughs> Well, I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, shoot your arrows at it. Okay. That is a 13. That misses. And that's a 25. That hits. There you go, buddy. <laughs> 8, 22, 10. So you see that this elemental has like a almost mouth like part of it at the top of its being. You aim for that. You hit it straight through, the arrow flies straight through, and after that, it collapses. Right. It just turns into water. Oh, it's dead? Yeah. Oh, sick. Oh, fucking it's A. Good job. All right. Woo. That was easy. I didn't even get hit. <laughs> okay, so since I'm technically shooting towards the ocean, would I be able to recover any of my arrows? They're all in the lake, right? They're all in the water. Okay. Good thing I brought 80 with. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we leave off with this episode of A Deal with Demons. Victoria!